Hi, I'm Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Experts down at BVE on day three, and I'm joined by Paul Tapper from New Gen Audio. Thank you, Paul. Hi, Mike. And um, on here we've got a a plugin, or we've got a, an application that I sort of recognise, but I would have said it was LMB, not. AMB. So what's with this one? Okay, well, this is um, new for BVE. It's a successor product to LMB. So um, LMB was our popular, versatile, kind of Swiss army knife of loudness management. Um, but AMB is a successor product. So it's the audio management batch processor because it can do more than loudness. So this is really a tool for ingesting legacy content making sure that it's loudness uh, compatible, uh, mm -hmm. taking uh, content and presumably, repurp again, batch content, repurposing it, watch folders, throw content in, watch yeah. folders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's useful for a variety of different jobs, actually. I mean, it's great for uh, if you've got a work group of editors, um, audio post-production engineers who are um, distributing out material to um, customers, if you want to have a final check that they're loudness compliant before it goes out, or if you even want to correct that audio, not have them do it, then you can have the computer do that aspect of the job. Or if you're a ingest house or broadcast QA department, then again, you're getting a large volume of files coming through that you want to check for loudness compliant, or you want to fix the loudness in, then you can use AMV. So what's, what's the key difference between LMB and AMB? We've made well, we re-engineered re AMB. So it uses some of the code from LMB, but it, the, the base has been completely re-engineered to allow greater speed, greater flexibility. Um, it can run on multiple cores at the same time, so it has multi-threading. Um, whereas before, if you dropped a bunch of files in, it would have to go one at a time with LMB. So here it is running on four cores simultaneously. So essentially, it's processing up to four things simultaneously. Is and it can go up to 16 things. So it, it's really increased the throughput. Um, it was all, LMB was already fast, but AMB is blindingly fast for processing. So anyone who's got a large volume of files, this is the perfect way to solve the, the loudness problem. And what are the, is the other reason for changing to audio management rather than loudness? That kind of implies there's something else that can do. Well, yes. Um, so uh, AMB is able to process audio files, also video files like MXFs. Or so it can take the audio out of an MXF wrapper, process the audio, and then presumably put it back yes, in the wrapper. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah, with an exact replica of the wrapper, so it doesn't change the format at all. Um, also ProRes MOV files, um, but it's also now able to upmix. So we've taken our award-winning Halo upmix plugin, um, and you can take uh, presets from that plugin and use that within A and B to upmix stereo to surround. So if you've got to, perhaps from your archive, create a whole load of 5.1 surround, then you can use this in an automated way to, to do that very efficiently. Great, uh, anything else uh, that uh, it can do? I mean, that's a pretty good list to start with. Um, some things which people might be interested in, and we've had a couple of people interested in them uh, at the show, uh, uh, the ability you've got for um, specifying the routing. So for example, if you've got a ProRes MOV file, you might have 24, 32 channels in that. How are you gonna know which channels to address? And we've added in a complicated routing matrix. So you can say, do you choose this stereo pair, do you use this stereo pair, here's a 5-1 surround embedded within it. And it gives you a lot of control and flexibility. Great, and you've also done a slight tweak to Halo. Yes. Um, in the sense, I believe it's it's to do with being able to not upmix to the center and LFE channels. So it's for um, we already add in um, an ability to start from multi-channel audio. So the normal use would be take stereo and produce a wonderful surround mix from it for five one seven one or even seven point one point two for Dolby Atmos. But we've um, also added the ability to start from multi-channel audio. So say you've got LCR. Yeah or you've got a quad mix, or you've got a 5-1 mix that you need to make a 7-1 mix out of, then it gives you all that ability. So the, the new release for this show is to allow you to exclude the center channel or the LFE channel from that art mix. So you preserve the dialogue in the center, that doesn't get muddied out, but everything else you've got full yeah, creative so, control So if over. I'm up mixing a stereo, uh, up mixing a music track, then I can make sure that the music doesn't end up in the center channel. Yes. Absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, good. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. I've been Mike Thornton at BVE for Pro Tools Expert.